Hey guys, hopefully you were able to participate in the worship service online. We are getting so close to being able to gather together again, albeit it will look a little different and there'll be more information coming out with that. But I got to tell you, the beginning of Rick's sermon hit uh, pretty hard for me and uh, is so easy for uh, bitterness to take root right now and just seeing different things and different responses and different messages that I've had uh, coming to me and probably different messages I've had going out from me too. And uh, I, I really, really appreciated Rick's uh, call to positivity and not just positivity as in, yeah, look at the bright side of things type thing, but positivity knowing that we know the savior of the world. And so what is it that we have to hate? Uh, what is it that we really have to fight? I want to read this passage to you. This is my thought from the sermon. This comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. This is what Paul says. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. But what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to you, to your conscience. We are not committing ourselves to you again, but in giving you cause to boast about us so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance and not about what is in the heart. Not about what is in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us. For the love of Christ controls us. Because we have concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, and those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself and entrusting us to the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors of God for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Working together with him, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in a favorable time I listen to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. I hope you're blessed by that passage.